Hi everyone, welcome back. So I just handled some curried conks with aloo and peas and it lash it. I'm eating this with some peas puri or peas roti and I do have a curried conks video that I posted a couple of years ago and it was just a plain curried conks but my dearest husband decided that he fell for conks with aloo and peas. So I tried it out and I'm gonna share it with you all. So for those of you wondering, aloo is actually the Hindi word for potato and as you know Trinidad and Tobago has a very strong Indian influence so aloo has become part of our vernacular as well as a few other words. So today I'm using sea kongs or lambi and you can use the river kongs if you want. I just find it's kind of rubbery and stiff so I prefer this one and it's much easier to clean too. So I hope you all enjoy the recipe. I hope that it's really simple to follow. Leave me all your comments down below letting me know how you like to eat kongs and how you cook it. So I picked up some sea kongs or lambi at the fish market and if you'd like to see how to clean, cut up and wash it, I already have a video. I'll link it in the description box below so you can check that out. It'll also be in the information above in the top right hand corner. So I already prepared it here and washed it with some all-purpose flour. Now I'm going to add some salt and some essential green seasoning. My green seasoning today is a combination of bandana or shadow benny, culantro or ricao, hot pepper, garlic, pimento peppers or seasoning peppers, some curry or carapilla leaves, thyme, sive or scallion, and you can add some other herbs to it if you want. You can make it as hot or as mild as you want as well. It's really up to you how you want to make your green seasoning. So now you mix all the lovely seasonings into the kongs and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes before cooking. So while the kongs are soaking away in that lovely seasoning, I'm going to prepare the peas. So to a pot with some boiling water, I'm adding some frozen peas in. And back home, my mom would usually pick peas from the garden and she'd boil them and place them into individual bags. So when she's ready to cook her dish, she'll just pull out a little bag and it's ready to be used. So the package directions tell me to just boil it for 20 minutes and to salt the water. I haven't salted the water, but I'm just gonna let this boil for about 12 to 15 minutes because it's gonna cook further when I add it to the pot. And once it's finished, you're just gonna wash it out with some cold water and set it aside until we're ready to use it. This pot has been heating up on medium-high heat and I'm gonna add some avocado oil to it. Once the oil heats up, I'm gonna add some chopped onions and just let that saute for about a minute. So after the minute, you want to add your curry or carapile leaves, the hot pepper and the garlic and let that saute for the next 15 to 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna add my blend of spices. Over here I have some curry powder, some roasted ground jeera, black amjar masala and some turmeric or saffron powder. So I'm gonna add it to the pot and I'm just gonna let that fry up for about two minutes. After toasting up or frying up those spices, now you want to go in with a little bit of water because we just wanna make a nice thick gravy or a nice thick curry paste. So you're just gonna keep stirring that. You can raise your heat a little bit when you add the water in and I'll show you all how it looks. Once you see that nice, thick, spicy, curry, slurry sauce coming together, it's gonna get very thick. You're gonna see the oil separating and that's the perfect stage. It's gonna be very thick and it's gonna be grainy, not very wet and runny like it was when we added the water. So at this point, you're gonna add your seasoned conks in there. And you want to stir it properly because you want to coat all those pieces of the conks with that lovely thick curry sauce. So now is where we let the conks bungee. Bungee just means to let the natural liquid in whatever meat you're cooking or seafood. You're going to let the natural liquid just reduce on its own and dry out. Once the bungeeing process is complete, you'll hear like a sizzle and you'll see it starting to stick to the bottom of the pot. So now you want to go in with some very hot or boiling water to cover the conks. At this point is where I usually take it out and I place it into my pressure cooker. 
and I leave it for about 20 to 30 minutes and when it's finished it's perfectly ready perfectly soft and nice but I'm cooking this outside on very high heat and in a very deep heavy cast iron pot so I'm not gonna utilize the pressure cooker today but I suggest using it it really does save a lot of time and the kongs turns out amazing. After bubbling for those 20 minutes, I'm gonna add some aloo or some potatoes that I've cut into quarters. I'm also adding some freshly grinded green seasoning. So we're adding the flavors in different stages. So you wanna cover it again and let the aloo cook for a little bit. That might just take about 10 minutes and then I'll come in and add the pigeon peas. After the aloo or potatoes have been bubbling with the lid on, now I'm going to add the pre-boiled and washed pigeon peas in there because it's not going to take too long to cook. After you add the pigeon peas, leave the lid off and let it cook and do its thing. And depending on the amount of sauce you want to leave in there, you can add a little bit of water if you want more sauce or you can let it dry down if you want like a, just like a cutters or like a very thick gravy. I'm going to go in between so not too thick and not too thin because I'll be eating this with roti. So just leave it for the next five to 10 minutes just so that the pigeon peas gets to soak up some of the curry sauce and it's nearly ready. The last thing I do is finish with a little bit of chopped bandania or shadow bani and turn it off and voila, your curried conks with peas and aloo is ready to be served. So this is best served with rice or roti or even as cutters by itself. Today I'm having mine with some peas puri or peas roti. I'll have the recipe for that up in a few days. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Leave me all your comments below telling me how you make it. Remember as I told you you can do this in the pressure cooker if you want. You can do it in an instant pot. You don't have to take the long process like I did. Mine took about an hour and 15 minutes to be completed. If you do it in the pressure cooker, it's going to take about 30 to 40 minutes. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell next to the subscribe button. And until I see you all in my next video, bye! This lashing a hard. According to my cousin, Bean, he says it lashing like Brian Charles Lara.